Have you ever wondered about the origins of the F word? Well, you might want to keep wondering because we don't know and we probably never will, but a historian has just come across what is believed to be the oldest known usage of that favorite four letter word. Guess what? It was from a court record that was from 13. 10. Dude, 700 years ago they were dropping the F-bomb and they were, they were, you know, taking notes in court and apparently courts back then weren't exactly as formal because this is hilarious. You're going to love the way this was used. This is the best part about this. Okay, so we're talking about the court case of Mr. Roger Fuck by the Navel. That's his name. What the fuck? And no, that is not his last name. That was a moniker given to him by the court. They obviously didn't like this guy a lot, and they were implying that he's an idiot. And let me explain why. Now, Dr. Paul Booth, who is a former lecturer in medieval history, this is, this is what he had to say on the discovery. He's the one who found this. Either it refers to an inexperienced copulator, referring to someone trying to have sex with the navel, or it's a rather extravagant explanation for a dimwit. Someone so stupid, they think that is the way to have sex. So the court gave him this ridiculous name, because apparently they thought he was an idiot, and it's hilarious. And this is just crazy to think that they were using the F-bob in a sexual way 700 years ago. This is nothing new, Jose. No, it's nothing new. I mean, it's one of the favorite words of, of most of the people. Most they, Americans, and most yeah. Americans love to curse <laughs> with the F-bombs. Uh, but, you know, to this point, one of the most accepted connotations or, or definitions of the fuck is the history of fornication under consent of the king, where the king right. had to have divs on the, all the women of the, of the land for them to then have permission to fornicate with their husband. So they had a sign out of the world of, of their houses that said F-U-C-K, fornication, the consent of the king. Now, many historians have, you know, put that history on doubt, but I love the fact that we are now actually finding historical documents that have the use of the word fuck as we use it. Yeah. Dude, Dr. Paul Booth sitting there, he's researching King Edward, he's looking through these old manuscripts, and he comes across this, and he's probably just like, fuck, <laughs> this is crazy, because it's like really nicely written, handwritten, you know, and then you have this ridiculous moniker given to this guy with the most ridiculous meaning, and they were very, I gotta give it to these medieval people, because they're really good at dissing, yep. because that, that was a really good way of, of screwing this guy. Is that the only over. reference that the historical documents that we know of? No, it's not, actually before this, we just went 200 years back. So the, the last one was in 1528. That was supposedly the oldest F word, F bomb ever being dropped. And that was this really angry monk who probably hated his job. He wanted to get out of this shit. He was like, fuck this, I'm done. He took an ancient manuscript and he wrote <laughs> literally Ode to fucking Abbott, whatever that means, whatever he's talking about in there. What's important is we see F U C K I N. He couldn't even put the G. He's like, fucking. He's, he's like, like, he's like, he's like, slang. Yeah. He was, yeah. He was a cool monk, um, an angry monk, obviously. But, I think this is cool because I actually, I'm not even kidding, I have really thought about where the hell does this word come from before. I was like, what, what does this even mean? Um, and we, we, we don't know. And, and we're just going back further in time when we're seeing evidence of it used in a sexual connotation. I think that's really yeah. interesting because we use it in that way too. A very versatile word. Yeah, that's the one, one thing you favorite. can't deny. Yeah, it's yeah. one of the favorite words in transitive, the you can world. Use it. I think it's perfect. Yeah, you can use it in an adjective, every, as a verb, every part of whatever the you want. Every, it fits anywhere. Try it. Literally put it in any part of the sentence. It will work. Let us know what you guys have to say about the F word being found 700 years back in 1310 in that really hilarious court case. Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Lip TV for more.